That's better. Uh, sorry, Lexine. I was next to the recharging station. Are you calling about tonight? No, because then it wouldn't be a surprise. I'm mad at you, Sam Caldwell. Why? Because you somehow forgot to tell me what you're doing today. It's just a routine excavation. Routine? You're extracting a marker. My supervisor, Leon's nuts with excitement. Did you know he's a unitologist? This is a big deal. Leon's always been nuts. Anyway, we don't know if it's a marker or just a big rock. That's why we're doing this, so the boffins can study it. Sam Caldwell, if you had an imagination, you'd be dangerous. We'll see about that tonight. Ooh, I look forward to it. Gotta go, honey. I love you. I love you, too. Later. Sam, come on. Get suited up quicker. The only date you'll have is with an overtime sheet. <laughs> Say no more. Lexine's already mad at me. She'd kill me if I bailed on her. Well, everyone else is standing by. All we're waiting for is you, so don't expect me to make excuses if we're still working tonight. <laughs> come on, hurry up. All right, let's get this done. Sam, is your helmet secure? Sterling, this is Cooper. We're already out of sight. Where the hell are you guys? Yeah, we're on our way, boss. Be there in a minute. You seen that vidlog of the marker that's going around? Looks just like the one back on Earth. Just like the one the unitologists claim is back on Earth, you mean. And there's one big difference. Earth is Earth. Whereas this beautiful place we call Aegis 7 is nothing but a ball of space rock. I mean, come on, what are the odds? And there it is. Bigger than I imagined. About time. Give Banks a hand fixing up the track and loader. All three of us? Damn straight. If this thing gets so much to scratch, Chief Barrow will have us all scrubbing air vents. Hey, Banks, what do you need? The wind's blown out some of the track we laid. Rivet it back into place and get it tight. That thing's gotta be man-made. Hurry up. Cooper's already pissed off that we're late. Copy that. I'm right behind you, Sterling. All that target practice paid off, huh? Good job. Now get the loader's arms in position. One of you TK it, the other two rivet the joints. Egan, I'll take these two. And watch your aim. I don't want to end up on crutches like Matthews. to Coldwell. Those joints need to stay tight. Hold your rivet gun sideways and fire a fused bolt into the target. Right in the hole. Nice job. Nice work. All right, Sterling, Egan, get the loader in position by the marker. Caldwell, you finish the job. On it, boss. 
All right, Egan, let's get this thing on board. Lexine's right. Leon would flip if he saw this. I got it. Almost there. Central. Looking good. Count and balance is stable. Gyro's online. Ready for load. Stand by. I'm starting a five down. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mark. Central. I'm outside. Can you tell me what that bang was? Shit. The flash must have knocked out comms, too. Can't see a thing without the lights. There should be a box of glowworms in the airlock storage chamber. We can use them. Grab some supplies before we head down. are engaged. We should be fine now. Shit. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Hold on! Wait a second. We don't know what's going on in there. 